Spoon TV, Sylvester, Tropolis, Honey, and we are live in District 6, Mosavara County, where His Excellency's Ambassador Joseph Wattard and his team will shortly arrive in District 6, Mosavara County. So, where are you? I, how are you following this broadcast? Welcome to Spoon TV. District 6, Maserata County. This is the jubilation ahead of Ambassador Joseph Baca into the district. of citizens have gathered here to welcome the former vice president of the Republic of Liberia. Motorcyclists are displaying their talents. Motorcyclists are displaying their talents right here. Awaiting the, the former vice president. The former vice president is to be here very shortly. This is Spoon TV, Sebastian Chilo Place Money, and we are live just behind the SKD Sports Complex. So, 
motorcyclists are displaying their talents as a means of welcoming the former vice president of Liberia. And by the way, we are live on the quarter fee just behind the SKG Sports Complex. So many of them are already posted to welcome me, the former vice president of Liberia. Making sure that the, the safety of the former vice president of Liberia is tight. There you have it. So motorcyclists are here displaying their talents as a means of welcoming the political leader of the United Party and former vice president of Liberia. We are talking in just a few minutes. The vice president, the former vice president, will be here. So that's a dispute. So now, now, this is the form of vast president of the Bureau of Comfort. Yeah, you have it. Yeah, you have it. Yeah, you have it. Yeah, you have it. 
The program leader of the New York Party has been given a very respectful Massive protection right here. Massive protection. Massive protection. Supporters, hundreds of supporters are here welcoming. Any moment for now, the, the political leader of the new party will be touching ground. You have hundreds of supporters. If they're in the thousands, we are about welcoming. So, that's the team of us. Thank you. 
So the ambassador Baga is, is having handshakes with the leaders.
Rescue me, so can I Rescue me, so. Oh, Joseph, wake up. The people love you, Kapa, Kapa, Kapa. Joseph, wake up. They must love you. Lose a monster. So thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The National Battle Crowd here, Emmanuel Jackson, want to thank you for that powerful and interlude of Battle Crowd. This program is here by call to order. Program marking the official visitation of Rescue One and the entire rescue mission team in District Number 6, Mosso County. With all much ado, I now call on the religious officer of district number six to lead us into prayer. Thank you. Our religious leader is walking. Praise the Lord. This is the day and you can read the Bible in the day in, in Israel, uh, in the family of Jesse, that David was picked up among his brethren to show down and rescue the mission of Israel. So we have seen our daddy, our uncle, our brother has been today selected by God for him to be the, the man with the mantle of authority to rescue Liberia. Let us all bow. Bishop Father, we want to give you the praise. We want to give you the adoration. We seal this place with the blood of Jesus. We commit our authority into your hand. Ever evil forces, Lord, that we want to rise, we come against them, we destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take preeminent. Take charge of this program that you will be the one to be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. So thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to run straight. We are running. And our next speaker is going to be the coordinator of district number six, who is going to do weapon remarks and presentation of gates by district number six. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I would just like to one guy for incoming president of the Republic of Liberia. I would love to pay our incoming senator of Montevideo County and my whole side for Mohammed G. J. Johnson, the man I retire is somebody for the best to see. The incoming representative of District Number Six. And members of the United Party, Young Not Boys, Pimple Runners, Market Women, Sympathizers of the United Party, Well Wishers of the United Party, and Line Political Party of the United Party, we say to you, you are welcome. But the next one of us has decided to make the program a little bit different. So we got our errors involved. And they told us this is the womb of our next president. This is the womb of our national chairman. This is the womb of our incoming senator. And this is the womb of our incoming representative. For that reason, our program is going to be special. I'm so sorry. Some of the people who saw a big granny here today will not see them. But we're going to have a granny ceremony, and our elders are ready for that. Um, and a topa, and a Joseph El Topa, and a Joseph El Topa, you hear the crowd? And a Joseph El Topa, please make your way. 
Now this is the header of this disco number six that is restless when it comes to JMB. We call God every day and passing us and talking to us about the goodness of Joseph Nima Baka. He tells our children that are the sea. But we sit in with the area people, we sit in far away the you people that are even standing or in the air. So we we'll play the program. We say, oh man, your talk will not go in vain. We'll give you the chance to go the incoming president of the Republic of Liberia. <laughs> that is why uh, Joseph L. Topa is here to go over uh, Joseph Nima Puaka. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm happy to be here this afternoon. I'm happy, I'm humble. I'm humble to be able to call and call to be able to perform this time. I swear to somebody that I know. Here I'm working on the association for here to be to follow my association. And we are able to bring this to this level today, you see the for age. I serve as president and he was advisor to me. So I want to say you are welcome. On behalf of the elders, the, the officers of the unity party, I want to take this time to thank you for the hard work that you have been doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we do not. We do not plan to do only our stellar bro. You have a father in the district. In person of Reverend Doctor J. Luther Tabe. Whenever we have problem, our uh, Tabe is willing to be with us. So we play on Gary as well, but since he's not here, we want to pass on all the portable officers and we're going so we're going to call Aaron Gray to pass that on that day. And, and we play on also Gary, our rescue mother. I'm going to tell you her name. Tell you her name. I'm so sorry she's not here with us. So, we wonder how we walk to come out or see she's not here. We'll pass it on the bottom of the and we'll do it one little. You know, let's get into it. Now, this district is a no good zoo for any other political party. I hate the political party here. So, for that reason, we come for some of our team to present to the rescue mother. Say the rescue mother right here. The rescue agent will receive the key. For yeah, rescue queen, rescue queen. Why are you coming? Yeah, yeah. For whatever, Anna, who's gonna present this key? And this key, you're presenting it to the rescue, rescue queen, you're gonna present it to our representative of Canada, our senator of Canada, and of course, our standard bro. Who's a black? Thank you, thank you. All right. District six. Oh, rescue war. Oh, rescue enter. Oh, 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 it's key, you know, Kenya. We took control of the key since 2019. The district took control of it since 2019. We don't know what happened in 2019. Y'all know what happened, but we don't know. 
But we took over say 2019. We repeated here 2020. You don't know the power in that and the Lord. You don't know what we did this to six. We flood them. This to six came out the hardest. We were there, we saw it. 2019, this to six came out the hardest. It was a rattle. We repeated it, you don't know 20. But we decided to go on because we wanted to do it, the presentation appropriately. Yes, sir. We want to convince you. I think you confused now, so this key that we're going to take over is going to be kept. We don't know what we'll do it while we're back in this way and throw it away and left again. But we are playing our part. I will say! You know what I'm saying? We have come to a very crucial one. And we want to show you again the pool washing. We know what we're going through in the district. There are other people that can attest to it. We are going to perform the same tactic. And district 6 will come with the tour again. Your pool will be mad. Your pool will be protected. And we have to stay up. From in the night to the next morning, you will stay out to protect it. Nobody will try it. You can bring a thousand dollars. People that are representing us over there, they now have money. We know them. We know them. And they are willing to kill themselves for it. So, on behalf of the team, the district uh, leadership, and the others, I want to present this team to our rescue entity. Who will subsequently do another thing in the short term? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm on guard. So thank you. We we want to thank the leadership of the CCS for the presentation of this. And also the warm welcome remarks we offer by the coordinator. We want to quickly uh, recognize our profile dignitaries. Those seated here, we'd like to inform you. We have seated here Senator James Bunny of Maryland County. We have, of course, the representative Kennedy of District Number Six. Mr. Harry Johnson is here. We have uh, Dr. Augustine Cornell, a very loving father, and the ambassador to our standard bearer. Please stop for Dr. Cornell. Then we have also Mr. Massacre, another ambassador to our standard bearer is here. We want to recognize, of course, all the women in the Republic of Liberia. They are leader of the boss of all the women in the Republic of Liberia. And I want to say no one else but Selena Mape, National Women Congress Chair of the United Party. Let me recognize Madam Matoli Dagoze. I also recognize the chairman of the movement for One Liberia. Then I'd like to recognize my own mother, the sister of our senior girl, Madam Yuma. Let me also recognize all the young people in District Number Six. Let me see your leader. Are you leader of District Number Six? She know all of the fact she's the only female youth coordinator of the United Party in Masawalo County. She's no longer she know all of us about God Power Dicks. Please stay and go see. You want to see her? Please stay and go and go and see you. This is your youth chair for this one, number six. Thank you. Of course, you saw the coordinator. And let me also recognize the chairman and president of the Federation of Tricycle and Motorcycle Union in the Republic of Liberia, Brother John Kim. All the motorcyclists in the Republic of Liberia say, oh yeah. Benji Gaia, 
Ayu Kawali and Yabiti Hoye. So let me recognize uh, Big Brother Jake Kamakoli, the COS of our, our stellar band. And as the program goes on, we'll continue to do recognition. But let me recognize before we go to the next phase, the rescue queen. The rescue queen, Madame Mandela Cooper. Let me recognize, of course, the senatorial candidates, Mr. Weber J. M. P. Of course, the lion, the lion, the lion, the next president of the Republic of Liberia. The lion and the next president of the Republic of Liberia. The Excellency, the person of social media worker. And we want to also recognize the DJ, the most the music. We recognize you. And I recognize all of you, our friends in the media, all of our auxiliaries, and all of the resident partisans of the United Party District Number 6. Thank you very much. We move to our next agenda is the presentation of the representative and senatorial candidate of District Number 6 and Mosawalo County, respectively. So on that note, I call on the Mosawalo campaign team headed by so I've just been told that the Mosawalo chair of, of the United Party will do that in Mosawalo County. Comrade Robert Bestman, the chair of Mosawalo County, who's going to present to you your senatorial and representative candidate of Mosawalo County and District Number 6 respectively. Robert Bestman. Robert Bestman is making your way. Amanda! Thank you. Thank you, comrade. Amanda. Amanda. Thank you for staying so long here today. That is some of the issues we deal with with campaign time because as the Scannabara is going, everybody wanted to see Scannabara Joseph Walker. So everywhere he goes, people are stopping him. So we are sorry for keeping you up to this time, but I know it is worth it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We already got Buaka. We already got Buaka. So come October 10th, let's go and put Jose Nima Buaka as our next president. So let me be sure I'm here for it. One minute, one minute. We represent all my We represent all my We represent all my We represent all my Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We will correct the mistake. We will correct the mistake. Thank you. So, we give the party out. One candidate in this race. Number six on the representative ballot that bears the symbol of the United Party, and that candidate is Kennedy Harris Johnson. Okay. So, this is the only candidate of the United Party on the rescue team in District Number Six. Thank you, so both Joseph Nima Braca and Harris Johnson for representative. Thank you. We are 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 we We are about to call. We are about to call our senatorial candidate of the district of, of the county. This man has worked all his life for the Unity Party. 
from the position of Secretary General to the National Chairman of the United Party. And he's nobody else but Comrade Raymond P. Please, when you go to the police station, let me replace Senator Joseph with women pay to give up better representation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and thank you again. Thank you. Thank you very much for the presentation of our candidates. Women pay is on the ballot, Senator ballot number seven. And Harry Johnson is also on the representative ballot of district number six, number seven. Number seven, the senatorial candidate. Number seven, the representative candidate. Number two, the presidential candidate. So our number is 277. District number six. Your number is, your electoral number is 277. Your electoral number is, thank you. So on that note, and I call on the two candidates for brief remark. You have to be brief. If you not brief, I can't take my mark off. Yeah. So on this note, I now call on the representative candidate of Dacian number six to speak to you just briefly. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we're so much grateful to have our incoming president, Honorable Joseph Newman Bwaka, in District 6, our rescue ente, the senator aspirant, the senator, and all of our good people in the Unity Party. I want to say you all are welcome to our district and we will deliver this district to the Unity Party. We want to recognize our brother, Brother Freeman from the VOA, and our counselor, Counselor K. Rufus Moe, a generous man who gave up the district office. We want to say you are welcome. We want to welcome our Honorable Abu Bakamara, the MOL, the Movement for One Liberia, and the MPR who is working with us tirelessly to make sure that this is delivered. We want to recognize the 37 auxiliary, the book giving short term, so I can call all of you by name. But all of you are here, you people are wonderful and beautiful people who want to make sure this district is delivered to the Unity Party. We want to recognize you. We see your tireless effort. You are being here since this morning up to now. We say thank you. The message is resonating well. The United Party are giving you a winning number. Joseph Baka is going to be playing the defensive tool for Liberia. <laughs> Senator Wemoke and Honorable Harold Johnson will be playing the seven. And seven plus two, that striking number, goal scoring number ten. So you got seven plus two, that one? Then nine do one on the field. So we want to score all of the goal because we got a defensive uh, that we can guarantee. United Party is coming to rescue this country. And everyone you see on this United Party ticket have been vetted. And we are on a bond to represent the interests of the Liberian people. So we're not ordinary people that cannot do anything our own way. We do it the United Party way. And Liberia is blessed at that time to have an integrated icon to be leading the United Party. Just like Juma Brakai, I served 40 plus years in government with no trace of corruption. So if you are a corrupt government official, you can't work with him. That's why you don't see all of them running behind him. Because no chance to do their TV back. So only integrated people can work with him. And because they don't have integrity, they're going to other parties to make their way. Just a human blackout, we trust him. And what we'll be doing for you in this district? All of our brothers have been considered Zogo. But we carry them to jail as Zogo and bring them back as Zogo. 
I want our leadership in the United Party. When you carry them to jail as criminal, you will bring them back as capital. When you carry them to jail as armed robber, you will bring them as mesnum. If the government doesn't do that on a certain human bracket, I will sue the government. Because that's the promise we're making for you. Thank you very much and God bless us. God bless this city. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amanda. So this is followed by the Senator Kennedy of Mosimano County, Mr. Wilmer JMP. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know you're not stay long here. And y'all want hey y'all want y'all want hear the next president, right? Hey, you want to hear your next president talk to you, right? Hey, what you not say long here for? I just want to thank all of you, our people in district number six. Look at that child sitting down on the young man's shoulders. Young one year old Dufina Ben. When the story of the new Liberia is written, I want you to remember that it was on this day. And this child has a future that is secure in Joseph Yuma Boakai. God bless you, thank you. Thank you very much. This is the shortest thing I am not listening to. So thank you. Thank you. For, hello. Thank you. For a very brief remark, we call on the president of the Motorcycle Union. Mr. John King. Let me see that two for breaking. Oh. Let me see that two for breaking. Let me see that two for breaking. Let me see that two for breaking. Joseph Parker's government will be your government. Yeah. I want you to raise your two and let them break up. One thing I want to say here to is this. This government has violated Article 17 of the Constitution of Liberia. When we decided to join Joseph Newman Parker, they decided to intimidate us. That is violation of Article 17. This government has violated Article 13 of the Constitution of Liberia, thereby arresting Monotaco and parking at the central. That is violation of movement. Yeah. And therefore, we cannot vote for them. Yeah. This government violated Article 8 of the Constitution of Liberia that says that the government shall direct their policies to one making sure job opportunity. And they have denied you that right. Therefore, we cannot vote for them. In this government, because they have violated the constitution, we will make use of Article 1 that says our power is inherent in the people. Therefore, we will make use and vote this government out. Thank you. Thank you, government. Amanda! Amanda! And the president is gone. So let me, let me now go on. Senator James Barney, who will present to you the next president of the Republic of Liberia. Thank you, thank you. On this note, Senator Barney, thank you, thank you. Honorable Joseph Biman Boakai, the next president of the Republic of Liberia, our rescue mother, senator of the MOL, our incoming senator, incoming representative, distinguished officials of the of the almost said National Patriotic Party, of the United Party. Before I call to the podium our next president, let me use this opportunity to say a few words. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The National Patriotic Party has won. 
one national chairman. And that chairman is the one standing before you today. And if you are part of the National Patriotic Party across the length and breadth of this country, do not allow yourself to be deceived for the second time. Do not allow yourself to be disrespected for the second time. When we, when we supported President we are, it was our desire. Of course we are sorry. That was a serious mistake. We're not going to make that mistake the second time. And that, that sorry is also on behalf of the National Patriotic Party. We are indeed sorry for that mistake. But we thought to give the president the opportunity to prove his worth. And he failed us miserably. Never in the history of our country, except for the war time, that those of us from the South East wanted to go home will go through Cote d'Ivoire. Under President we are there's no road to the South East. We gotta go through Agritos to go home. The largest company in the southeast today that provide jobs for our people was brought into this country by then vice president Baka. and that's the only company in great group today where the president is from we gave him six years and he's not been able to bring one one investment opportunity for the people to have jobs he has miserably failed us Today he hasn't gone to the science because he's saying no how he will go. That's so embarrassing. But guess what? Normally, president will talk to the citizens and say, Thank you for voting for me, right? But the president say we should tell him thank you for us voting for him. What level of arrogance is that? We cannot put the country through that again. No, 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 we cannot do that. We cannot. We have just one last opportunity, and that opportunity is for us to vote President We are and his entire group out October 10th. We must make sure we do that. If we do not do that, we we'll have no opportunity to rescue this country again. And as we as we to the stage. So let me conclude. Let me conclude by saying those of you who are first time voters do not be deceived. We were the ones who elected President We are. If he is running away from us and coming to you it means he's convinced that he didn't perform and we know him better than you. Do not listen to him. You will destroy your future. This is the last opportunity we got to put the country back on course. And let me hear you say welcome on stage, President Joseph Walker. Thank you very much.
you know what I want to talk to you. You want to see you up here. Let me come in and ask you So if you want to see you up here. Now I'm so good on you. I'm on you. Everyone I'm on you. I'm so good on you. I'm on you. Everyone I'm on you. I'm on you. I'm on you. I'm Thank you. Oh. standing with us and believing in us to be on this stage. Please have your seat. I'd like to thank our president of the Marble Cycle Riders Association. Sometimes when people see people riding motorcycles or people doing the wheelbarrow, they just think that they are nothing. These people are trained they are knowledgeable, they know their rights, and they are serving their country in a different capacity. I want to thank you so much for proving to me people that although you, your organization may be providing services, and you know your rights, and your rights will be defended and protected. I want to also thank all of our leaders, including Barney. I didn't get to know Barney until recently. I heard a name. But people who are looking for a better country, they don't hold to parties, to positions. They're looking for a future for their people and their Thank you so much for being on board. And I want to say, for even though districts where there's a slight misunderstanding, uh, some of the people, we, we, you don't have to be an honorable for you to serve this country. We want to say to you there are many, many ways you have opportunities to serve. What we don't want to do here we don't want people to believe that they have been loyal to us personally before they can serve their country. The country is above all of us. And each and every one of you here represent a whole a family. And we want to make sure that this country is rescued to make a better country in which you can be free to respect the other person, respect yourself, get a job, go to school, learn, take care of your children, take care of your family without fear. You don't have to please me personally. The most important thing is 
to know that you're in a country that will provide you opportunity for you to be ready. And that is whether you're a musician, you want to make sure that even musicians will exercise, they will show their talents through us creating that opportunity. That, cap, that people who are plumbers, carpenters, business, will be the best in our country and they will serve their country. That our women, the market people, will be trained to work in other respectable conditions, decent markets, not the way the people sit now, they are made, the whole country is a market. Everywhere in Maria has a market. We want to make sure that we put decency on our people. If you don't respect your people, foreigners will respect them. Nobody will respect them. Nobody will respect them. But it is our job. That's what the rescue team is about. And nobody on the rescue team should believe that we are coming to be worshipped. We're coming to serve so that our people can see that there is a servant leadership that you can lead and serve the people to make them respect you to what you do for them not to fear you I don't want anybody to be afraid of it we want to make our police look decent so that they earn their pay and they serve their people they protect their people and it's their responsibility we want to say to Liberians, maybe you have not seen real country that gave opportunity. Over the years, people have taken you for granted. They think anything they do is okay. But it, for us, we say it's unacceptable. Your living quarters must be decent. You don't have, elect you don't have to beg people. It's your right to have electricity. It's your right to have water. It's your right to have decent transportation. It's your right to go to shop freely. People have made us to believe that we owe them for everything they do. They're not doing it. They're not doing it. It is your right. You elected them to do the right things to protect the future. To, to provide opportunity for the young people to provide decent meeting places even like all the places here it's not for them to put money in their pockets and believe that you should run after them I don't want anybody running I want for you to feel that you deserve what you own and you will work for it it is hard to see but I see here classrooms, no chairs. The young people go to school, they can't even have breakfast. Their teachers are not paid. And somebody who has done nothing for this country, they have brought nothing to this country, they believe they should be millionaires overnight. I, I live in District 6, I moved there in 1982. I've lived in the house there. Even the water, we had a ticket from Clipper Road and Bradley. They broke my fence because they wanted to expand the road. That was nothing to me. We live in a community with people. God may have elevated you, but that doesn't mean that other people don't exist. If I would have them, you nothing. And we have to understand that. We have to bring a country that people must understand that leadership is not a God. It's opportunity to serve. And that's, we have never tasted that. We have never tasted that. Everything that people do, they think you owe them. The, the road has been built. We are going to this road. They are made profit of it, but that was not the purpose. Why should our people sell in the street? There was not the arrangement. 
I promise you, Liberians, that maybe you've been used to a Liberia where anything that happened to you, where you leave it to God. But God made all of us our rights to be protected. When you go into court, you don't even know. You don't even know you're going to get justice. We will have justice. We have to. We have to. We have to have justice. You should respect people, but don't be afraid of them. Let us encourage you. This time around, if this country is not free, it is not about me. I can live here. I've lived here all my life. But it is about you, your future. Today you are here wishing us well. But when you go home, you got to start thinking of where, how your rent will be paid, how you will eat the next meal tomorrow, whether your children will go to school, your sick mother will go to hospital. Because even to go to hospital here, it's like you, you're acting God for signature. It's a special thing for you. We want to make Liberians feel Liberians. Want to make, I can tell you, even George, we are on sport. I will take it, I will improve it. The young people, right now, right now, as of even six years ago, we had team, and people who know me know I'm telling the truth, team from the UK that went there to come and coach our young people here. He knows it. Other people know it because my heart, my soul is for this country to be the best country ever. We have items waiting. The Zogos, all the children they call Zogos, we will work with them, we will improve them to the extent that, to the extent that some of them will even forget where they came from. Because they are our children. You know, any, any Liberian that is disrespected, any Liberian that is handicapped, it reflects on us. Don't, don't think that those people there, they are, not, they are part of us. And these are the ones we want to provide opportunities for. If you have listened to people before, they promise you, and they just talk, you watch it. Get these people out of office and see the difference between persons and the real person. Because we want to make sure that the past is gone, that the Liberians will look forward to the future with good expectations for themselves. You don't have to apologize to me. God intended this that way. If we are not going there, you won't have no him. But you know him now. So you say him goodbye. Because he came with, he said, you're telling the country over to young people. We didn't know that these were young roles who were coming to keep our people back. And then we must take, we must take, we must sacrifice you for them again. No! It will not happen. Yeah. I would like for them to stay here if possible and see how you work for people, you manage people and improve their quality of life and they themselves will be embarrassed. I want to embarrass them right here. Every day, every day they just meet and say, oh, let's put taxes on this and that for the people to suffer. Those taxes there will review them. The unnecessary one will take them down so that your life can be improved, so that you can have rights, so that you can make sure you can produce and enjoy the benefit of the country. You only have short life. You can't suffer here and suffer elsewhere. You go to you go to other countries, they're gonna respect you. We want to create a decent society, a good society, so that we make sure 
the roads of me in the country, and all the money they show, they will account for it. They will account for it. Any shit that would be here, and you, it's simple. It's simple. If you say you did not amass well, you will show. All oh, the people talk, they're talking. They are afraid. They know. Yeah. You can boast and boast. Yeah. We're not going to get behind you, probably. Yeah. We're going to be a professional auditor yeah. who will find out what you got, how long you got it, and where you got it from. It is simple. You show us. Yeah. If you got it right, you take it. Yeah. I'm willing to declare my answer okay. to say what I got over the years. Yeah. But we're not going to allow people to disrespect you because it's a disrespect when people deprive you of electricity, when they deprive you of water, when they deprive you of good environment just for their pocket. We're not going to accept that. And you yourself will not accept it. So let's make sure we get them out when they will have no more authority. When you go to commerce and the minister of commerce tells you, delay your goods and you pay high story fee. That's not a way to exercise power. If the person is wrong, find them. But you can't punish them to the extent that they say you go to the port now. There are more than 200 containers because the people can't clear them. What kind of injustice is that? The people who will lecture you, so you mean they should remain in the dungeon and you take stolen money and share out with it? The God we serve is for all and is going to judge these people. And I mean it. I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for your expectation. We're going to make sure in Liberia, you are in Paris, will be a different Liberia for good. Thank you and God bless you. The bus stop. Come on. Pastor Joseph Walker, School TV. Thank you. So, so at this time, we want to say to you, we come to the end of this program, and we want to most especially thank you to all of you who have come, the auxiliary, our partners in the media, we want to thank you, we want to thank the district number six leadership, the women lead, Madam Frances Wilson, we thank you, your leadership, the youth, the holding neighbors, and the entire leadership, we want to say thank you very much, this program is here by come to an end. We we'll see you tomorrow in our next follow our page and you will see where the rescue team will be moving tomorrow. Thank you very much. We call on the volunteer to please pray for us. So in this part of the TV, thank you for this successful program, for this successful coming day, to you live from District 6. Must as we go out, go, go and put the ahead of us, give us safe passage in Jesus' name. This is the issue. So thank you, thank you, Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you, our hard working protocol team. We want to thank you for the hard work. We want to thank our securities. We want to thank everybody. Everybody, everybody, everybody.